Hey guys, we're Kerberos, and welcome to the second of the double upload for today. Hey, if you missed the episode that went up a few hours ago, oh, please go and check out. I will not be spoiling anything in this episode. All I'll tell you is I have it. The episode. So, big game in this episode, Feyenoord, who are currently second in the league, to me of course. Big, uh, welcome so, to every one of you and of course, Feyenoord is the biggest welcome from me is to Alan the Smith alongside me. Dutch team, I did my career move with which one will play Eindhoven. So... Yeah, it's uh, gonna be a big game. And you can see this a win here will give me a 11 point gap at the top. Well, they come here, the visitors haven't lost the game, haven't even record. conceded a she goal. It's the best defensive record in the division. It's a wonderful asset to have, isn't it? On the road, coming to a great place. Yeah, right, I couldn't. Good yeah. <sighs> I'll probably score in the first the couple minutes. This is how they're gonna line up. We've got it down as a 4-3-3. Yeah, it's a system that the Netherlands used to use all the time. I think really they invented it. Oh, sure. Plenty of countries have adopted it since. If it works, it's, it's really uh, tough to handle. For PSV, this is how they'll play today. Nicola Izimar Miraz starts with Hector Moreno in central uh -huh. defense. Marco van Hinkle starts, a midfielder in good form. Yes, and they'll sir. play with a sole striker. Well, they're building steadily here, working. Feyenoord away. are piling. Trying to thread it through here. The, uh, away from him. I can say they were piling forward in search of the opening goal, but this time pass could lead to that goal going to me. Come on. That's good support play from his teammates. Pereiro. Ooh, it takes a deflection and goes out for the. Win that. Want to chase it down? He doesn't have Keep the pace. It it's gone out for a throw. Okay, it's my throw. Prepper. Still like to continue the momentum. Here. Chance to get some width into this attack. This might be dangerous. Out the corner. For another corner. Goes for goal with the header. Oh. Right. It's not soft. Direct header. Wait, it was, it was too close to the keeper. Straight at him. It would be a throw in here for PSV. Not the best shot That's ever. Throw, by, uh, straight to the opposition. Definitely not the worst. El Sharawi. Good forward play from them. Oh, sure. The shot's on. Yes. Good. Oh, yeah. Good stop by the mayor. Another difficult <sighs> one, though. Oh, he was in. They're in, but they took a deflection. Tackle goes in. There's going to be a throw in after that tackle. Well defended, not just running across. He That's a foul. As well. Van Ginkel. A lot of newspaper uh, chats devoted play on with to the this particular manager and the temptation of uh, an international job, but we understand that he's turned that down. Yeah, well, maybe he's Pro got work. other lines in the fire. Ah. Only he could tell you that. Um, he doesn't see it as the job for him, Burn. quite clearly. Um, whether Burn. that's going to be the case in the future, well, oh, I think... Most managers, they like to further their ambitions, don't they? And if he, if he does... Uh, it's that probably going to be... Free kick. A free kick. Is it going to be anything else? Fine. Well... I will say, I think I got a yellow card for something like that. Doing well to keep the ball. Tries the true pass. Cool struck. Oh, boy. 
Thank goodness he's a fucking right, moron. And without me. Out a throw in. Arias. He fucking crossed it across, even though he no had my defense pretty much at his mercy. He says advantage. He's like, mm, nice yeah, I don't ball. actually have mercy on Oh, I save! Yes! Proper! He almost fell over, or while going to celebrate. But just before half time, the deadlock has been broken. Save. And the shot from Great. But a proper rockets it into the goal. So the first goal, it's 1 0. Getting a nice gap will, will ultimately be first when it comes to players. There's good progress with this attack. And the cross is in. Ramzar. Well, there's going to be three minutes added on. Okay. Ah, well, and it'll be half time. Go before half time. It is going to be very crucial, I think. I think it will be the key to not only three points here, but it could be the key to what win, what eventually wins me the area division. He forward with some danger. Thank you, go! Oh! Yeah, I thought he might have done better there. Had a bit of time and space. Good position. So close to another centre is making a big contribution Moving to forward the scoreline. Okay, yeah. Now they're here. He'll have a go. Now the shot! And he'll win the corner. Emma, probably a good save. Oh, then it comes to El Sherry. What's in? Now. Okay, yeah! Turiel! Oh, 11 points. The game now. Two ahead. And here we fucking come. And from that angle, it's not always easy to finish. Defenders caught out by it in the end. Well, he's a, he's a fantastic header of the ball, and he's, his marker stood no chance there. Jurgen Lokea with his 15th goal of the season. And that is a very crucial one. Just widen the Probably the most crucial one he's scored all season. And we're just under the halfway point. Actually, this is the 13th game, so we're two games away from the halfway point. Of the season. One or two players are warming up for the home team. We'll see who comes on. Ramsar. Oh, this could be... He 3 now. It's opening up. Van Ginkle goes in off the post. He doesn't miss this time. He... And then he Chelsea... He lonely. It was impossible to save it. Could all but racked up the three points and the 11 point gap at the top of the area of his table. We consider how close it was in real life. It went down to the last day in real life. In game, Marco Van Ginkel slight. Nah, that's not. Well, they've widened the margin now. 3 0 they lead. We've reached the hour mark. Half an hour to go. Home team ready to make a change. PSV with the throw. Seems On the attack that here. Paul was uh, started to make Feyenoord panic a little bit.
out of play for a throw. El Ahmadi. Gets his foot in there. Looking for an opening with some good control build up. Oh, two track. Oh no! Oh! Oh, I was fully expecting a penalty to be given against me there. I am not gonna lie, I did take him down. I did. I pressed X. And I completely forgot that that would compel my uh, defender to tug on your man's shirt, and that's why Toonstra went down. Ah! Oh! Well, they might have scored from. Well, they should have gotten a penalty. Feyenoord scored the first goal I've been seeing in the season. Where did that goal come from? Top class. In the uh, corner. More, Martin, the way Poorly defended. What the hell was my keeper doing? I mean, he doesn't even have the uh, defender running into him as an excuse because he should have been ahead of the, the defender. He should be there collecting the ball. Today he lets Jurgensen have the easiest goal he's ever going to score. That's the first goal we can see all season. I know 13 games. It took 13 games for you can see a first goal, and that's the goal you can see. It'll be a throw. Now Van Hinkle. Some potential in this move, and he could get away here. Oh, sure. Credit for taking on the shot, but well, what a good chance that was for him. By his standards, that's a glaring miss. And just for the record, that goal was not a pity goal. They actually did score it. I didn't let them score it. It was poorly defended, but I never poorly defend on purpose. I do think they should have gotten a penalty, so I mean, they may have scored anyway. Corner came as a result, although pretty much directly from that instant. Marco Van Hinkle into the attacking third. I don't know why the referee did not give a penalty, but I mean, you could see the goal as like a bit of karma. I mean, I'm not even mad about it. I I generally think I got lucky. I don't know why the referee did not give a penalty. And now he's going to give one. Now he's going to give one. Wow. Wow. Is this guy a fucking PSV fan or some shit? Like, and it's Toonster, the man who was fouled in the box at the other end. Didn't get a penalty. Sticks his leg again and now gives away a penalty. Ah. Oh. This feels wrong. It really does. It feels wrong. I'm gonna intentionally miss it. The target. It felt wrong. It just didn't feel right that I got a penalty when they should have gotten one. I'm I'm not gonna. I don't care. I do not care. I really don't. Oddly, I'll take a three-one victory. They should have gotten a penalty. I got one for practically nothing when. Your man may have as well ripped the shirt off of well, that's the end of, the game. of uh, Toonstra's back Three, one, the final at the goal. other end. Great example here of counter-attacking football. Wait. Doesn't show it, but... I mean, you guys can just rewind the video a little bit and see for yourself. I mean, if I were a referee, I would have given the penalty. The first one, not not the PS3 one.
The PS, the one for P, for for me, looks suspect now because he didn't give the one that those guys should have gotten that um final should have gotten. I don't know what to say. I really don't. I'm still receiving updates from these guys. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away, go away, and go away. They were all pretty much terrible anyway. I think one had a 90 potential, but he probably would have dropped considering his uh, valuation was awful. Anyway, I'm just going to quickly sim through this game against Byron. It doesn't mean anything. Like, Byron might go top if they beat me. Actually... Will they? Oh, they they freaking smashed me three nothing. I don't know if does that put them top. That might put them off. You're not on track. Hey, what? As we discuss the. Uh, Dude, relax. I don't know what the hell's what. Sign four youth players and play them in 20 games. And you're part of the starting 11 or coming on as a sub. Well, I have loads of young players and they're going to play a lot of games. Don't worry about it. Look at them all here. One. Two. Um... Three. Yeah. Three. And then there's more guys down here. These three. This guy. Don't worry about it. Don't even, don't even worry about it. They'll play plenty of games. We're not even halfway through the season. You don't need to worry about this. It, it's not something you should be emailing me about oh, on the 23rd of November. Uh, sorry, David Costa. But, uh, I can't play you yet. They've been at it right from the first game of the season. AZ are seventh in the table, so they're about halfway in the table. Opponents. And deservedly, so, a good deal of daylight between themselves and second place. Can they hold on to it? I think it would be an easier match than fine Nord, but uh, that's not always the case. In fact, that's almost never the case. This could be a nice early goal. And they'll play it with a Sharari. It's going to be a corner. We're going to get a corner here because of that deflection. The shot's on. Is Matt? Chance wasted. 
And they've got to scamper back now, those have gone up for it. Yeah, and you work so hard in the week on uh, set pieces, but if the delivery is like that, you've got no chance. Really anticipating something special from him here today. He must be loving the season so far. He's got 15, top scorer. Good position, they've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. Some options now for the pass. Keeps it going. And he's missed the target by some distance. It's up for a goal kick. Come on, one in the header. Yes. And one. Now they've got a chance on sure. this part of the pitch. Still get a relatively early goal. It's four. Proper! Oh, and he smashed it in! Well, I don't go that far from the He didn't need a second invitation. It's an incredible strike! It's a second goal in the episode. You point on it. The second one he rocketed in. Following up from the ball coming from Al Shirari. Because if you guys remember, in the game against Feyenoord, it was an Al Shirari shot that was saved and came into his back with the rocket. Has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. And happily he taken her. This is the sort of side with the credentials Three. to I could do without the uh, conceding a, a goal or, or a penalty for that matter. Uh, phase at all by uh, being top. Sometimes it can affect part. teams. Uh, otherwise, I'm good. Less than positive way, but uh, they look as if they're made for that top. Very. They've gone wide. Chance to get the ball in the box. Going to try one now. Ooh. Oh, well saved. Oh, he was expecting me to pass it. That's why I shot. Normal. You didn't expect it. Ish. On that occasion, I thought well, ah, he might think well to, to get past there first to find some space, but couldn't have passed yeah, the to touch. Well, I make my own rules and logic. So yeah, I did shoot. Got me a corner, which came to absolutely fucking nothing. But hey, crisp defending there. This could be it. Okay, yeah. Easily, calmly placed in the bottom corner, and it is two. Well, very nicely placed, Alan. Beautifully done. Yeah, he's almost passed it into the net. Jimmy Greaves right there, wasn't he? Just widen the margin here to two nil. Players seem lifted by that victory on final. It just seems like they're playing with more of a fire than they did in the, uh, the um, first. There's good progress with this attack. And in the past couple episodes. No doubt ah! Goal kick. That's kind of like well, we can see hoping he would go around it. Locati is go. I knew he would. Shows a lot of ability, and to my confidence to stroke it into the bottom left from there. Let's try and avoid that. No such luck. One shot. When did they have a shot? Wait. Are you saying that was kind of a shot? The thing earlier. Very well there to stop the cross. Here's a chance to get a shot. I will tell you you're, you're wrong. The opposition. Hell, this is an embarrassing thing of a shot. Well, it's a tough place to visit this, but the away team today come here in good heart, Alan. They've won their last two games. They should be in good heart. Just say it won't be easy, but uh, they're in impressive form. Attacking well here. 
this is gonna follow the uh, final game. Three and minutes from the, we'll the referee, the, the fourth official. That's the decision regarding added time. Half time now. We won't get it in the first half because there's the end of the first half. Two new lead. I completely forgot to check if final were playing. Time now for the second half to start. Uh, yes, I'm still going to keep an eye on their results because hey, if they drop more points, I'll win the title sooner. I mean, I know I can't win the title in some November, in but, you know, we for we each in, in the past. Slid in there with the tackle. Especially if Feyenoord start dropping points. Means that losing them, he might have uh, dropped their confidence. Something that you always have to have in the back of your mind. A loss can easily drop your confidence. Okay. Just working away to try and find an opening. Manager thinking for the away side, time for a change. Williams. Arms are. Okay, yeah. This is how they love to play. Come on, go. Can he make it three? No, it will come to Ramsar and he'll make it three. It's not Van Ginko, but it's another central midfielder. That uh, was a truly the fabulous goal. Uh, the keeper's a little disgusting with these defenders. Striker, He's aid there after oh, a Same thing. Twelve goals now for. It's given them a comfortable situation here. Three 0 I'm probably still butchering him. It's going to be a substitution. It's I'm butchering a lot. Sorry, I, I don't know these people in real life. I would have to. Apologize. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here. Proper. El Sharawi. Once. Even. We oh, could be in. Oh, shut off now. Oh. Terrific start. Oh. Proper. Oh. I'll take him in our corner. I'll take him in our corner. Lashed into the uh, defender. And in goes the cross. I'm sure, we'll return it. Perio! Perio. Well, Sorry. Seen plenty of headed goals from this lad, but couldn't add to the collection there. It's looking good, this move. This could be a chance. Okay, yeah. Oh, I was going to say, yeah, it was through, I didn't, yeah, he's a little go at his team, didn't even he see, I wasn't paying up. any attention. 20 so minutes no, of the 90 me. still to play. Normally, uh, I have a quick glance to see if it, he's raised his uh, stupid little flag. Gets his foot in there. Emzar quickly gets it. I think he made it 4-0, and he does. Full touch to score the goal. Thank you very much. Pretty much. That is definitely game over. Came close to goalkeeper, actually did get a touch on it. But I think it was a pretty good effort to do that much. Well beaten, really. Yeah, I don't think you can blame the keeper, Martin. He's looking at his defenders. Why was the lad given so much space? indicating he wants to make a substitution now time ticking on just over 15 minutes to go Ashrari nice bit of footwork from the attacker but it was made too easy for him Poor defense. here's the shot Ooh. and the keeper makes a save above his head safely enough 
It's a corner. Well, this is the time where the managers really earn their money. It's going to be an alteration to try and improve the team. Come on, get a nice header onto this corner, make it five nil to the deflection. Pointed for the corner. What another corner? We knew he was before the game started. He's just emphasised that in this performance. Well, he's proved so elusive around that penalty area. They can't get to grips with him, and as a result, he's got himself a few goals. Ah, oh, there we go. Mor Moreno. Moreno. Moreno? Moreno. I have to say, Alan, that reminds Five me now. of you in your prime. So, I mean, no. But it was. So, anyone needs to know. Poor pass from AZ. This could be six. Ramsor. Ah, I was trying to turn to Basto Ferrari. I should have taken the shot with Ramsor. Yeah, what can you do? I mean, I'm going to it's going to cost me the victory, but I might still score a six. He's reached it and turned it aside. Maybe if I didn't take the world. Weakest so shot. In terms of corners. I'm sure he will put that back in. Okay, yeah. No, it's six. There we go. Goalkeeper almost got there, but it wasn't a strong enough touch. Yeah, he's annoyed with himself, isn't he? Having oh. got a touch on it, feels he should have done better. 17 leagues goals for Completely messed up. Ramsar is after Only one team in the room for right. There goes the final win. Next penalty I get, I'm going to give it to Ramsar regardless. Yes, Feyenoord did drop points. Look at that. Thank you for growing in. And then, no, I probably butchered that as well, so. Yeah, so, 11 points goes to 13 points. Unlucky for some, not unlucky for her PSV. Brings us into December. Huh? Day on the fourth. You know, these guys are 16 yet, so they can't be called up. This guy's actually terrible. This guy has some problems. Jacobs. Not exactly, uh. It looks more like an English name than a foreign name. But hey, I'm not here to judge names. So, Zwolle? Zwolle? Let's just call him Peck. Peck will be the first game in the next episode. And NCE will be the second. Oh. And a cup game will follow that as well as a game against Ajax. This Bruges game will be sent just like the Bayern game. Very light schedule in December. Bro. The Premier League could learn from that. Anyway, so yeah, those were, that's how things will look on Monday.
You have to be careful not to say the wrong day again. Because I've said that. And sometimes I say the wrong day. I know. I know. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, Joey, smash the like button if you did subscribe. If you are new to the channel, well, don't forget to go back and watch the episode earlier in the day if you did miss it. If you were, like, just looking for PS4 mod, I would imagine it would have come up. But you never know with YouTube search engine. It doesn't know what it wants to fucking do. So half the time. Actually, most of the time. Anyway, regardless of that, thanks for watching. And until next time, I hope you all have a very, very nice day. Peace.